I visited so many schools. I think 13 or 14 different campuses. When I came to Miami, I wanted a sweatshirt after my visit. <laughs> I knew that I wanted to go there. I knew that I wanted to be part of this kind of special community, especially in the business school. In Sweden, I had a horse back home, so I typed in business school equestrian team, and it ended up being an amazing school and an amazing experience. <laughs> I think I have it easy. I think that being a hockey player and a student, it's the best time of your life. Why wouldn't you take full advantage of it? I thought I was just gonna come to Miami, take my classes, do my business core, come out, get a job, but my experience here has been so much more than that. We offer an incredible undergraduate experience. You're so in touch with the faculty who are teaching your classes, and it is faculty who are in the classrooms and engaged with students. Faculty are here because they wanna work with undergrads. I care about them, I think they know that. Whatever they decide they want to be good at, you connect them with the people that are going to let them do that. <laughs> the relationships you have with the professors, I think are just as fulfilling as the relationships I've developed with my coaches and my teammates. These are time zero values. Our job is to help students discover, build, create their passion. They're surrounded by faculty, experiences, opportunities, and the potential is limitless. I trust that you can figure it out, and your bosses are going to trust you. We see it in the case of students like Ryan Graves, uh, who goes and takes and helps build Uber. This is what our students are doing while they're here and when they leave the farmer school. And then put in some more time working because I like doing what I'm doing. The mentorship here is really cool. I've worked with alumni that I've known for several years and they've always kept in contact. They've always wanted to help me. This summer, I'm interning at Ernst & Young, so that's an opportunity that I got through an alum. If I have Apple devices everywhere else, why wouldn't I want my car to also be an Apple device? Carmen, we kind of have an interesting challenge because... Unfortunately, a lot of us go to college to, to get the piece of paper because that's what you're supposed to do. I guess I didn't expect to end up with a career, uh, and there were professors that I had that just kind of opened your eyes to how well, I could actually do this for a living and really, really enjoy it. What, if we had more yeah, time? Exactly. Yeah. So maybe talk on the Yes! <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like that. Like you can challenge yourself in so many different ways. I PR for international business, and I'm in AKSI, and I am the Buck Rogers program. PSE and the experiences it gave me are invaluable. I think that it really jump-started me on my path in college. We went to a school in Cambodia and we went to an orphanage. We all left that orphanage changed. We all came out of visiting Cambodia as better people. From the time they leave and the time they return, I can tell a big difference in their soft skills. Confidence, resourcefulness, adaptability, independence. Skills that employers want. They start to find something here. Um, they start to find themselves here and then you see them blossom. The transformation process is amazing. Our students do extremely well in the recruitment process. I'm amazed at those that have their jobs tied up with a bow in September and October and November of their senior year. And we do everything we can to bring the best out of each and every student. The more exposure you get at an early level to a corporate setting or um, to recruitment type of events is so beneficial. I just noticed that Miami students seem so much more prepared and polished. It's a breath of fresh air at times, right, because you don't have to coach them. They already know what's business etiquette, what are the right things to do, what's the initiative that I need to take. One thing led to another, and before I knew it, I was going into my senior year with a job offer from a firm, but also having the opportunity to interview with so many incredible consulting firms. If I had to make the decision again, I would choose Miami again and again and again. <laughs> if they came here, they would see the same thing I saw. Every day I go to bed feeling like I've learned something new and that I have the opportunity to grow as a person.